Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. And yes, I'm back in the Sebi Islands. So yeah, last time uh, we uh, had a quick visit to Sebi Islands, uh, did what we needed, and we did briefly return to Cinnabar Island. But having learned that we can get a boat back to the Sebi Islands from um, Vermilion, I decided to, well, head back here, because there's one bit of the Sebi Islands I have not yet done. Uh, I would have done it in the last session, but uh, I ran out of time to record. But we're going to do it today. And that is, we are going to head up... Uh, where's my map? We're going to head up, I think it was called Kindle Road. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we're back on one island, so we're going to head up Kindle Road. And eventually to Mount Ember. And unless I'm very much mistaken, that is where we find Moltres. The third and final of the legendary bird Pokemon that I need to catch. Uh, speaking of catch, uh, yeah, I've got plenty of Ultra Balls, so I don't need to worry about uh, stock and whatnot. And I believe I've already done uh, my Pokeball swapping. Yes, I did. Although, considering we're going out to sea, maybe it's best if I train up Raichu for a little bit. Uh, who's holding... Oh, that's right, Dragonette's holding the experience share. So we'll try not Raichu as we're going to do a bit of surfing. No doubt we'll probably encounter some trainers along this uh, short bit of water. And we'll just see what Kindle Road has to offer. As well as Mount Ember. Oh, hello, there is someone there. Uh, and also a wild Pokemon. But it's just a level 9 tentacle. Yeah, level 9. Totally not worth it. Hello. I'm beginning, uh, blah, blah. I'm beginning to get a sunburn, and I'm beginning to fluff up my words already, and it's not even been, well, it's probably not even been two minutes that I've started recording. Oh, this recording session is going to be fun if I, if it stays like this. <laughs> Alright, Abigail. Well, actually, if you're getting a sunburn, why didn't you bring, like, a, like a parasol with you or something? Anyway, Psyduck, just as I thought, so this will be very easy work. Raichu, no problem whatsoever. Another Psyduck. I wonder if it's safe to assume that your final Pokemon will be a Golduck. I'm hoping so because I kind of want, uh, you know, the experience points. Nice. It is indeed a gold up. In which case, Raichu will once again finish you off quite nicely. So, obviously, I got the experience share. So, Raichu got what? About 300 experience points from the side duck. Ooh, 688 from the gold duck. So, just a little over double the experience points of the side duck. Not bad. Oh, you're so awful. Oh, I'm sorry. I. I didn't mean it. I mean, you're the one that challenged me to a battle. <laughs> I like that cap you have. Maybe I should wear one too. Yeah, but as I said, I think it's it, it, it'll only protect you from the sun, like, by so much. I mean, if you wanted to not get sunburn, I'd recommend either a parasol or, I don't know, sun cream. Anyway, <laughs> let's go surfing once again. Oh, unless there was an item on your little island. Nope, no response. All right, fair enough. Oh. Well, that was short-lived. Ooh, hello. Smashable rocks. Uh, I don't believe we've encountered the HM for those yet. This is Kindle Road. Go straight for Mount Ember. Okay, so we're not going to do anything here. We're just going to go straight to Mount Ember, according to this. All right, that's fine. <laughs> but I kind of want to explore, though. You never know what you can find around here. Uh, for example, a Fero that I've already encountered God knows how many times, so never mind. Uh, no idea what kind of Pokemon you have. Actually, you know what? I was going to say stick with Raichu, but you know what? Let's try up Lapras for a little bit. My lunch filled us up, so will you battle us for some exercise? Um, sure. I'm going to assume the Pokemon also had some lunch, and you're referring to them that want the exercise. Although, I don't know whether Pokemon would actually perform well, like, on a full stomach, if they've only just eaten, like, literally just moments before this battle. I don't know, that would probably make me sick if I was to suddenly do a whole bunch of exercise literally, like, a minute or two after I've just eaten, like, a big meal or something. Ooh, Pikachu, right. Okay, yeah, we're definitely switching. 
Um, you know what, Dragonite? Seeing as you have the experience share, I'm gonna let you have this battle. And I was desperately trying to think of a word that was rhyme with Dragonair and Experience Share, but it just couldn't come to me. Oh well. Despair. <laughs> anyway, uh, Pikachu. Um, I'll just use Twister for now. And even if Pikachu tries to paralyze you, if your shed skin effect works, that's fine. Double team. Oh no, whatever am I going to do? Twister. <laughs> oh, now you give me the critical hits. I could have done with that, you know, a little sooner, but never mind. Uh, you know what, we'll stick with Dragonair for a little bit, because I would like to have you evolve into a Dragonite. But you're still quite some way away from uh, getting to the level. I think it's level 50. Oh, you jerk. I think, it, I think it's level 55 that you evolve into a Dragon if I'm, uh, into a Dragonite, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, we'll just keep on with the Twister. I couldn't have been any more than, like, single-digit, like, hit points there. Probably maybe only even one hit point. Oh, well. Uh, let's see, just a Clefairy. I, uh, I could use Slam. No, let's use Twister. Although I'm hoping once you evolve into a Dragonite, you can learn some more powerful uh, Dragon-type moves. And not only that, but I could definitely teach you a, a whole variety of other moves. Ooh, your defense stats went up. This probably won't knock you out then, unfortunately. I'm probably going to use another one. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, I guess that's fine. That's fine. You're just, you're just delaying the inevitable. And, and I suppose... You say you want to give your Pokemon exercise, but you don't want to overdo it either because, you know, you just had lunch, so you know what, that's kind of fair enough. That made me all sweaty. I mean, you pretty much just stood there, like I would. I feel famished again. Well, I mean, just have a second course of lunch. Oh, there's an item there. Looks like I could have surfed around to it. Okay, we're backtracking. Looks like uh, there is an item to be found on the shore after all. Oh, hey, a Ponyta. Have I not already caught you? Or am I mistaking you for another Pokemon? Probably mistaking you for another Pokemon. For some reason, I thought I've already caught one, but I guess not. No, I haven't. All right, fair enough. Okay, so maybe I'll try and catch you, but honestly... I don't think I'm really in a rush to try and catch any Pokemon now. Uh, who's up front again? Lapras. Um, let's bring Raichu back out simply because we're out at sea. Was it worth it? Hey, uh, you know what? That's, that's not the worst. I could always do with some Max Repels in case I get fed up with these Pokemon encounters. Uh, nothing to be found here. Okay, that just takes me back up to the top. I took a break from swimming, only to have you challenge me? Well, yeah, I mean, we could have just had an ordinary conversation, but, you know, if you want a battle, Garrett, that's absolutely fine by me. That's absolutely no problem for my Raichu. You know what I'm thinking about it, it's probably worth me thinking about what Pokemon I'm going to use against the Pokemon League, because, you know, we're only one gym badge away from, uh, oh, of course you can use Protect, we're only one gym badge away from getting to the Pokemon League. And to be honest, uh, there's probably not too much I'm going to change in terms of my current squad. I'm definitely going to be using Charizard, definitely will use Dragonair, well, hopefully by then, by the Pokemon League, uh, Dragonair will evolve into a Dragonite. Um, pro yeah, I think I'm going to bring Raichu with me. Kadabra. And I know some people have said that I could see if I can find a way that I can evolve Kadabra into, into an Alakazam, regardless of the fact that the only way I could do that is by trading. And... <sighs> I, I don't think I really want to do that. I know this is just a casual playthrough, but... Honestly, I don't know if I want to go through uh, that, that hassle. And besides, I mean, 
Remember that gym battle against Sabrina with, uh, you know, I used Katabra against uh, her Alakazam? Yeah, that uh, Shadow Ball pretty much annihilated that um, Alakazam, so I'm honestly not that worried. Uh, Lapras, I think I will use, simply because you will definitely know some Ice-type moves, which could come in handy against uh, Lance. I don't know if... I, I think the only Pokemon in my squad right now that I probably won't use against in the Pokemon League is Gyarados. But then I need to think who who could replace Gyarados from my squad. Ooh, well, definitely going to switch Pokemon. Uh, Lapras. Um, because there's not too many Pokemon in storage that I can think of that I might want to use. I don't want to use my legendary Pokemon. That's something I don't want to do. As I said, this is a casual playthrough. But at the same time, I don't really want to resort to having to use a legendary Pokemon. Against the Elite Four, so... I'll refrain myself from using those kind of Pokemon. I'm trying to think, who are we battling? Who do we battle with? There's, um... Oh, what's her name? Lorelei or whatever her name was? Uses Ice-type Pokemon. So Charizard will be able to take care of those Pokemon, apart from the ones that are also part Water-types, in which case Raichu will take care of those Pokemon. Then there's Bruno, who I think uses fighting type. So again, Charizard can take care of those Pokemon with wing attack. Although I might change my attacks, actually. I might have Charizard just learn fly. Um, also, Kadabra can help out against those Pokemon. Then you've got uh, Agatha. I think that's her name, Agatha. With the ghost type Pokemon, so... Kadabra once again will help. Then we got Lance with his Dragon Pokemon, so Lapras would be able to help. And I suppose to a lesser extent, even my Dragonair, eventually Dragonite would, could also help as well. And then we've got uh, our rival as our um, final battle. And he'll just use pretty much all sorts of Pokemon, so it's just whoever that we've uh, battled against previously. But whatever happens, I will definitely be doing a whole bunch of training to my Pokemon before we take on the Elite Four. Oop, and I think my controller's just unplugged. Okay, there we go, now it's working. That was weird. Hey, Dragonair's level up. Uh, level up? Is level up to now 48. Why not? <laughs> Is now leveled up to 48. I'm such a fool. Well, I mean, I did have the Pokemon strong enough against those Pokemon. We do, do have an item there, but it's blocked off by a... Smashable Rock. So, not a lot we can do about that. Ooh, hello. Is this a double battle? I think this is a double battle. It looks like one of them is definitely going to use... In fact, actually, it looks like both of them might use fighting type Pokemon. So, I'll tell you what, Kadabra... How about you team up with Charizard? And we should be able to take care of uh, uh, this duo quite quickly. My big brother and I make an awesome combination. All right, Kia. So we're battling against Kia and uh, Mick. Machoke and Primate. Now, there's a Pokemon I haven't used in ages, Primeape. Um, I suppose I could actually bring Primeape, especially considering fighting type moves, I think, also do well against the ice type, so maybe. I don't know. Still got some options, but we'll see. No problem at all. This side should easily take care of this Marshoke. And indeed it does. Nice, and Kadabra level 46. Sweet. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> oh, it's a whole bunch of money because, of course, Charizard is holding the experience share. How could there be anyone better than my big brother? 
how could my combination with Kia fail? Um, simple. I kind of read what kind of Pokemon that you were going to use, and I just uh, made the right selection. Look at these two. No, looks like there's no way to sneak past these guys, so that's fine. Dress appro appropriately for battle. Lose that f frivolous outfit. What's wrong with it? It's not as if I'm specifically like a fighter, you know. That's you, Hugh. <laughs> I'll dress how I want to dress. <laughs> no match for uh, that matchup, and even oh, um, no, no, let's let's stick with Charles off for a little bit. Yeah, even this Machoke's not going to stand much of a chance. Yep, pretty much. Oh yeah, gone. It's super effective, you don't say. Why me? Um, simple. You challenged me to a battle. And yep, we're immediately going to have a battle against you. Every morning before breakfast, I swim around this island. What a big island. What? What, you mean this island, or the whole combination of, like, the whole area of one island? Because that's quite some distance, that, actually. Also, I was half hoping that these two would have ended up, uh, you know, teaming up and have, like, a, a, a double battle, but no, nope, sadly, that's not the case. Again with Machop and Machoke. Exact same Pokemon as Hugh. I'm guessing all that swimming has tired you out. <laughs> Let's talk to both of them. Even martial artists are becoming fashion conscious these days. I lost because I'm pooped from all the running I did. Oh wait, now it's the running. It wasn't the swimming that wore you out, it was the running. Mind you, yeah, you two were kind of just running side, side to side just then, so I guess that would make you tired. Light the fire in your heart, Ember Spa. Ooh, a spa? Count me in. Oh yeah, I can see, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Soaking in a hot spring pool is therapeutic, uh, people say. Hmm. Question is, can I go into it? Have a look at my face. See how smooth my skin is? The hot spring's water keeps my skin younger than my age. Oh, there is a ladder down there, but let me talk to you first. Hot springs go hand in hand with volcanoes. The ember spa here. Well, I made it years ago. I hewed the pool right out of a gigantic boulder by hand. I was using this at the time. I suppose I could part with it. HMO6? Oh, that shatters boulders as if they were made of crackers. Ah, so that's Rock Smash. Also, I don't know why I tried to use the item finder. There's probably nothing in here. So, we've now got Rock Smash. Okay, so we could check out what some of those items were. Question is, who can learn it? Practically everyone apart from Kadabra and Dragonair. Hmm... Well, I have already said that I'm not really planning on using Gyarados for the Elite Four. So I'm thinking, I think I'll just teach this to Gyarados, even though I know you already know at least two HMs right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. You know what, we'll have you forget Bite. And to be honest, you only knew Bite because you know, we were trying to figure out how to, to, to beat the, uh, Sabrina without too much difficulty. So, you know what? I'll have you learn Rock Smash, and something tells me we might need Rock Smash in the volcano. So, I could have gone back to get a random Pokemon, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. This is heavenly. The water warms me to my core. You should jump in, too. Go to the middle, relax, and get good and warm. Okay, why the middle, though? The water is perfectly warm. Oh, apparently 
just in that one square is perfectly warm, the rest of this pool is uh, not good enough. It feels exquisite. Jono and a Pokemon were fully refreshed. Ooh, nice. Okay, heal my Pokemon. Nice. All right. Well, let's continue our battling then. But before we do, I did see someone run up and down the beach just before. But before we do, there are a few rocks to smash. So we've got a few down here. And also there was one uh, just up above. I wonder if any Pokemon have a potential to appear from these uh, rocks. We don't know, but we found ourselves a Carbos, which is kind of, you know, whatever. I'll just add that to the uh, collection. Also, I just remembered, I've, yeah, I've still got a ton of those kind of items as well as um, rare candies. So perhaps I should use them before the uh, the Elite Four, but we'll see. Um, I don't really need another Fire-type Pokemon, so we're just going to say no to capturing you right now. The only Pokemon, the only Fire-type Pokemon I'm interested in catching right now is Moltres. Ah, Pokemon do appear from here. Okay. Um, oh, it's just Geodude. Well, that's kind of, you know, whatever. That's supposed to be, ex I suppose that's expected, but honestly... Not really that interested in Geodude, or to caught one like a very long time ago. Well, but in fairness, that Geodude's now a Graveler did help me out quite nicely against um, Surge for my third gym battle, so you know what? You were cool, uh. uh ooh, an Aoife. Uh, you were cool, uh, Geodude slash Graveler. But, yeah, that was pretty much the only time I was going to use uh, those Pokemon. Anyway, trainer? Yeah. Can you help me out with my training? Sure. And while we start the battle, I'm just going to open up this bottle of water and take a quick sip because, uh... I just needed a quick drink, that's all. <laughs> mm. Mankey. Alright, that's fine. Let's just use good old Wing Attack now that we're fully refreshed from our little visit to the spa. Ah, good. I was going to say, hopefully you have something stronger than a monkey, and indeed you do. You're bringing out an Amazon Primate. Here we go. Let's take care of you. And a whole bunch of money. I must have quite a lot of money now. It's clear that you're skilled. I like you. Oh, thank you. And I like you too. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a rematch one day. Anyway, uh, looks like we're going to be heading back out to sea once again. So I'd say, right, you. I think uh, you'll be uh, best to uh, be top of the list while we surf across. Uh, but I might just uh, put on a max uh, repel. We'll see. See from here. Mount Ember towers into the sky. Ooh, okay. I do have to wonder how big Mount Ember is because I n I've n not been in there because, of course, as I said at the beginning of this Let's Play, I did have the game when it was originally re re released on the Game Boy Advance, but I don't remember getting that far into it. For whatever reason, I just lost interest in it quite quickly. I don't know why. I want. I don't know what other games I was playing back then. Yeah, because I certainly did not get this far. So this will be a new experience for me. The weather's gorgeous. Perfect for a battle. Perfect for my Raichu, considering this is most definitely going to be uh, a water-themed battle. Seedra. Fine by me, fine, fine uh, for a uh, Raichu. And another Seedra, that's absolutely fine. Again, you can easily take care of a Seedra. I was about to say, it would have been nice to see if anyone has a Kingdra, but no, of course, Kingdra. Uh, King Drew from uh, Generation 2, was it? 
Oh god, I'm now starting to doubt myself. Was it Generation 2 or a little later than that? No, it was Generation 2, wasn't it? Wait, wait a second. I think I, I've hooked a big one. I guess it depends what, uh, what, uh, you've managed to hook up, whether I will agree, whether it's, uh, a big catch you might have. But so far, only a Goldeen. Oh dear, and another Goldeen. Surely you're gonna have to have at least one Seeking. Well, at least it's Goldeen. At least it's not like that one person. Actually, it might have been at least it might have been two or even three people that we've seen in our journey. At least it's at least you're not the person that just has an entire like squad that's literally Magikarp. That's just like the absolute worst. Like, haha! Look at my entire squad. I have a full squad of Pokemon. Check me out. Haha! <laughs> Six Magikarp just flopping about on the ground doing absolutely nothing and completely pointless to battle because they are so they're so worthless when it comes to experience points <laughs> at least you have goldine and seeking so you know what you're all right oh free seeking all right yeah okay you're definitely uh definitely much better than uh a whole bunch of uh, other people I've encountered. Also, this is actually going to help out with getting some experience quite nicely, actually. Nice, and indeed it did. Level 49 Dragonair. I've lost it all again. Well, you know what? I mean, at least there were, you know, decent Pokemon for, you know, an NPC. Not only did I lose, the big one got away from me too. Well, better luck next time. Besides, what Pokemon can be found around here? Although, admittedly, thinking about it, I have not done any fishing in ages, but... Honestly, I'm not really... Too fussed about it, although then again... You know what, maybe we should do at least a little bit of fishing, just to see what kind of Pokemon there are around here. We'll use our Super Rod. Pokemon's on the hook. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we can fish up. Uh, just a horsey. And it's only level 17 as well. Right, okay. Not gonna lie, I was a little underwhelmed, but never mind. Uh, looks like, again, no hidden items. Ah, well, looks like... Oh. Yep, straight into Mount Ember. Right, let's see what we can uh, find here. Uh, well, let's see. One thing I found already is just a random person just hiding in the corner. I don't know why, but, um, you do what you want to do, you. Anyway, I'm going to train up Charizard for a little bit. Might as well. Can you imagine if this volcano were to erupt? The explosion would be the end of us. How terrifying is that? While we're terrified, would you like me to teach explosion? Well, that's just random. I'm not going to teach explosion, but you know what? That's good to know. Was a whole bunch of boulders to push around. Okay, I'm glad I got Gyarados with me. And some rocks to smash. Okay, so I was right about that. Do you know how caves form inside volcanoes? Oh, well, you can tell me if you want, Beth. Oh, Pokemon Ranger. I don't see them too often uh, in our Pokemon journey. But always nice to see. And you know what, speaking of Pokemon Ranger, it's been so long since I've played any of the Pokemon Ranger games. In fact, I'm almost tempted to revisit some of the Ranger games again. In fact, I'm actually half tempted to revisit the first Ranger game because it's been, it's been over five years since I first did that Let's Play on the channel. 
wouldn't mind re wouldn't mind revisiting that at some point. But at the same time, I've already got lots of plans for Pokemon Let's Plays this uh, this year, so that's probably going to be a very low priority. But you know, maybe one day I will revisit the Pokemon Ranger games. Anyway, we can easily take care of the Gloom. This will help level up Charizard, surely. Indeed, it does. Nice. I certainly am good at battling. When lava at the surface of magma hardens and the magma inside flows out, caverns are left behind. Ah, well there we go. Right, let's see what kind of Pokemon we can find around here. Also, whether there's any hidden items. Okay, so that just goes around here. Some smashable boulders. Uh, smashable rocks. But first, let's go around this way. Okay, we're still encountering Spearow. Why are we still encountering Spearow? I do not care about Spearow. Okay, so we had to go around that way anyway. But looks like, yeah, looks like we did need to teach uh, one of our Pokemon Rock Smash anyway. So yeah, as I said, like maybe I could have brought like just a random Pokemon from storage, but I don't really plan on using um, Gary. Just wait a minute. What are Team Rocket doing here? Hang on, let me just see what's up here first. Absolutely nothing. That's a dead end, right? Okay, let's let's see what's going on. What what's going on with these two? Over here. We'll try digging here. That treasure the admin's been talking about should be here. What the? You're in the way. Get lost. Okay, now I'm suspicious. Treasure? Hmm. Oh, you're going to make me push these boulders again? Is it because I had that battle? Man, magic boulders, and yet the effect of that of activating uh, strength was still active. That was kind of interesting. Right, so we got a stair there. And we've also got a stair covered by the smashable rock. Ah, it looks like it's just a shortcut to avoid this person. But you know, we, we, we want to battle everyone. We want to battle everyone. I've been in training so I can mend my broken heart. It toughens me up physically, at least. Hiya! Okay, whoa, calm down. Um, let's, uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, how well it's gone. Okay, so you're bringing out the level 38 Hitmonchan. Alright, and I will bring out a level 51 Charizard that knows Wing Attack. Ooh, and a critical hit at that as well. Uh, two Hitmonchan, okay. Not going for the traditional Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan combo, just a double Hitmonchan. Alright, that's fair enough. No problem at all. I think I tried to overdo it. <laughs> the way you battle, it reminds me of the guy who dumped me. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Huh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to run away before you try and take out your potential anger at me. <laughs> right, an active volcano is one that's erupting, or about to. Yeah, thanks for... Uh, how many people have now met, referenced, you know, the fact that this is an active volcano and, you know, it might erupt and also the fact that there hasn't been an eruption at this volcano in ages. I just feel a little uneasy, you know, just going going on this little adventure all of a sudden. <laughs> because knowing my luck, this volcano will erupt while I'm here. I just hope Charizard will be able to uh, get me out of here very quickly, if that was the case. <laughs> Ooh, Executor. I was going to say, is this the first time we've encountered an Executor? If not, then this must only be the second time at most, because I certainly don't recall a past um, encounter with uh, an executor. <laughs> Sweat's erupting from me. Okay, so the volcano's are not erupting, but you are. They say there are over 1,500 active volcanoes in the world. 
Just thinking about them makes me feel all hot and gooey inside. Okay, I'm just gonna... Ah, I had a feeling there was an item there. I mean, why else would there just be a random dead end here? An Ultra Ball? Nice. Uh, right, so this goes up... Ooh, a cave. We'll have a quick peek inside. But I just want to also see what's up here as well, because there was definitely something else around here as well. So we've got a bit of grass around here. No hidden item. Although... Ah! There is an item. Dire hit. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can find anything more interesting than a Spearow. Okay, uh, Ponyta. Yep. Nothing much more interesting, but honestly, I don't think I'm in any need to catch new Pokemon now. Okay, so that's a dead end, so we can't go up that way, so the only way up is through that little cave. That's absolutely fine by me.